reaction as the battle between Dunfermline and Falkirk reared its ugly head once again. Dunfermline's recent run in this fixture has been a very pleasing one for the Fifers. It has seen them stay undefeated in the last four games, with the most recent three seeing them win not once, not twice, but three times in a row. Ray McKinnon and his Falkirk side come to trend this time though, and going off their recent close results against the current top two, having drawn against Ross County and lost by just the one goal against Ayr, it is yet another opponent which shouldn't be underestimated ahead of this weekend's game. Bring on the action! Look at this dude! <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, so I've got score predictions. Just the one this week. Here it is. Hello. Right, so we're playing Falkirk at East End Park. And I'm actually, for once, I'm actually feeling quite confident coming into this game. So, yeah, and I'm going for 2 1. So that's my prediction. And yeah, catch you later. I finally got the car journey to a game. But hey. The Unfermal team lineup for this game is exactly as I predicted in my pause roundup video last night. So it's. Robinson, Williamson, Devine, Ashcroft, Longridge, Higgy in the right wing, Martin Thompson in the centre of the park, Apple in the left wing, and Andy Ryan in the up front. On the pass. We move from section T across to section U. Falkirk fans in that section have been asked to move, and it doesn't look like they're moving. They're meant to be moving to this stand. They're currently in this one. But they're no budget. Teams for this afternoon, Dunfermline Athletic and Falcon FC. Stuart will play the last post, which will be followed by one minute silence, which we respectfully ask for your cooperation with. Ready to go here at Eastern Park. So once again, let's see them for the black and white. Come on, you pair! First corner of the afternoon. Is it going to hit the first man? It's <laughs> all right. Go on. Oh. Yeah. Go on, my time. Get by in here. He was just going for gold there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Clear. Oh. oh, that, whatever, well done. <laughs> he runs into the box, though. Shot or a cross. Oh, three kicks can feel really anticlimactic. Eh? <laughs> oh, right across the face of goal, that. Oh, it took us a tap. Maybe oh. should have left it. Oh, how's he giving a goal kick? Ah, Linesman gave it. Yeah, he's fucking standing a lot closer. I know. Useless, Dallas. Bloody useless.
Cena coming off, Faisal coming on. This is Faisal's big moment here, by the way. Go on, Faisal. Good partner at the fat boy. <laughs> to kick off here at East End Park once again. Let's see it for the black and white. Come on, you park! So fun to get to see this morning at Darby being offered of definitely showing more physicality in this game than they did just a month ago or whatever it was. But I just feel that we've got the edge here. We've had more chances and here's what we're going to pull the back. Oh, you can't! Oh! Holy shite! I didn't expect that to go straight through Paul Payton. <laughs> That's what you're in the danger in these Derby games. Moments like that, just coming out of the blue. Paul Payton with a strike like that. Go on, Ryan! Go on, Ryan! Well done! Go on! Oh! Go on! We did! for a goalkeeper. <laughs> oh, go on Faisal! Oh no! How many times is he going to do that? Get that Robinson! Oh my god! Holy shite! I assume that won't be going on Instagram. Oh. Changes, Haggy off. Double substitution for the Fulham Athletic leaving the field of play number seven at Callum Higginbottom and number 15 at Miles Hippolyte being replaced by number 11 Aidan Connolly and number 36 Robin Muirhead. What a ruckus reception that got. Crazy, crazy stuff. Turn. Cross. Go on! Oh! Go on. Me hip like for a long throw. Would have been ideal in this situation. That's it. It's hard to get involved in chance of the Nori, but it's what I feel like. <laughs> Brilliant, it didn't even come in the pitch. Come on, this has to be a good boy. It's got to be. Got the goalkeeper up. This is. Oh. He ever seen anything like it. That's it.
now going for the stadium, you can barely really see me, apart from the fact those lights just came on for you. Red face. I hope that's the last time I see Alan Johnson managing Dunfermline Athletic. He makes me look like a bloody <laughs> gone on about being the better team. We should be going into this game with full confidence, blah, blah, blah. And Higgy comes out with quotes before the game saying that he's right up for this game and if he's got into do it, then we only be losing this game and albeit he was still on the pitch when we were 1-0 down. But imagine taking off your most creative player in the game that... I had a lot of passion in that game and that just completely ruined it. Taking off him was really the last straw for him. If he's not gone by my next video, which will obviously be tomorrow, if he's not even gone by the time I need to upload this, then I'll be shocked. And in my opinion, the board are just taking the piss if they didn't get rid of him now. Nobody is going to get behind him after this. It's embarrassing coming away from East End Park hearing them sing us out and us walking away feeling like utter ball bags getting behind the team the day and then that happens and the icing on the cake was just that sub and the chance after that Johnson get to you know what it just fits the occasion nobody's going to get behind this guy ever again and as I said if it continues whether we've got the bloody money or no just bring in Stevie Crawford and it's got to be better than that though at least get behind that guy because Alan Johnson has not got the fans on his side anymore. That's it for this video guys, cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, which I'm assuming Falkirk fans will be here and I'm assuming you really did enjoy this video, comment down below what you thought about the game and if Alan Johnson should get to you know what. Subscribe for more of this type of content and until the next video, which will be the last word tomorrow, when I'll need to talk about Dunfermline again, but it will be very brief. I'll see you then. Cheers guys.